changing population size how does the population change as you all know population is nothing but people people does not be static at the same time population also cannot be static if it is static it means that the country has dead the population being static means to something else now let us coming to the word population is dynamic population is dynamic in the sense dynamic word represents in physics like it is changing the motions and all but here population is the changing its numbers how does it change its numbers like why do the population change its numbers see here generally the population of any area can be determined by three major factors that is births deaths and migrations as we all know births de- depending on the number of births for every 1000 for that particular year you get the number of births that keeps on adding to the population there the population is changing through dynamics of positive the plus then coming to the deaths when the people if you find some people are dead generally we find people are dead in accidents or because of various reasons or the health issues or various reasons then it goes on negative so the births minus deaths again that keeps on changing the population dynamics then coming to the migrations again in migrations we have two major types one is in migrants the other one is out migrants those who are coming into our place those who are moving from our place to another place again we have two types of migrations that is within the country migration and out of the country migration within the country migration is called internal migration out of the country is called international migration because of all these things the population has been changing dynamically now how do we calculate this one or how do we assess this one simply saying that births deaths and migrations we don't get the clarity on that so to get the clarity on that many of the sociologists have studied on this and brought two major types of analysis methods or calculative methods the first one is the absolute numbers how do we get the exact figures of an assessment of the criteria absolute numbers are nothing but we have a formula for this like population change the change of the population is equal to population of the previous year calculation that is for example we have 2011 census then we can calculate the previous year calculation means the last 10 years calculation that is 2001 census minus the 2010 minus the 2011 census the latest census then when you are minusing that one you get the positive result if it is more then the number is in positive side for example it is is 100 crores and here we are doing it 121 crores you are getting 121 crores minus 100 crores you will get the 21 crores that is a positive number which means the population has increased when it is like 121 crores minus 100 crores when you are changing in reverse you get minus 21 crores then it goes to the population has been decreased here you get the absolute figure of it you can't get the percentage of it, it is the absolute figure this is called absolute numbers or the population dynamics change the other type what we have is a percentage change basing on the analysis of every year you can get the percentage change for example number of births number of people born let us take an example of 29 people are born in this for every 1000 then number of people deaths maybe let us take it is 10 so 29 minus 10 you get 19 then migrations let us assume that there are no migrations of in migrations or out migrations then let us take it is like zero and the formula for that is births plus in migrants those are coming to our place minus deaths minus out migrants those who are leaving our place so then you get 29 plus of this minus 10 that leads to that leads to 19 for us then it is the percentage calculated is 1.9 percentage so we have two criteria for assessing the population dynamics first one is absolute numbers to get the exact figures of magnitude the second one is a percentage change how the percentage is changing how do we analyze the percentage change all these things we can get in the percentage change so 1.9 percentage you get here for a particular year let us say it is 1992 1991 2001 2002 when we are calculating for a one year or a period or six months then you can take it as percentage change when you want the exact figures of a certain period where you have the exact calculations of the previous one then you can go it for the absolute numbers but population does not be static it is dynamic